Hey everyone, Hunter here or Forever LEGO Studios. I'm here with a uh, new review on a new LEGO set. As you can kind of tell, it's a LEGO Batman movie review. Uh, this is the first one. It's a little small. It's one of the smaller sets. Uh, this is the Catwoman Cat Cycle Chase. And it retails for like 20... Uh, no, I think I spent like 17 bucks on this thing. Uh, so not very expensive. Um, pretty good. Definitely a good starter set. Um, FYI, before I start getting into this video, I do want to mention that I am not going to be buying all the LEGO Batman sets. Just because... Um, okay. I have seen the LEGO Batman set. Or, bleh, uh, LEGO Batman movie. I have seen that movie. Um, as you can already tell, Britain and I did a... Uh, um, video on that, a review on that, and, uh, so pretty much, if you want to go check that out, it's really funny, um, but, uh, so we have seen that movie, and I did love it, it was a really, really good movie, but, um, there's only a few sets I would like to have, just because some of them don't pique my interest, like this one, this one's actually really cool, uh, the reason why I want to get this is because I really wanted to get Robin, um, throughout the whole movie, he was probably my favorite, and I'm a huge Batman fan, uh, Brayden thinks I'm crazy, but I think Robin's probably my favorite. But, uh, so that's one of the reasons why I wanted to buy that. Um, then there's a few others, like I kind of want to get the, uh, Batcave because of the extra Batman suits and I really want Alfred. Um, then a few others, so, uh, if I buy those other ones, I will do reviews on them. But I'm not going to do reviews on all of them, just because I'm not, some of them don't pique my interest, like the, uh, Killer Croc set. Uh, I probably won't do a review on that one because I don't really care for that one. If you guys if you guys do like that one, that's fine with me. That's your opinion. And that's a good opinion, but I just I don't think I like it. Um, yeah. So I have this set. This is uh, one. Uh, this is my first Lego Batman set other than the Lego Batman figures. As you can tell, I kind of have a lot of them. Sadly, I have two of the same minifigure. But uh, move that back over here. Uh... Yeah, so this is the actual, our first actual Lego sets that I uh, bought for the Lego Batman movie. But let's get into it. Um, here's the box. Uh, we uh, it ha, uh, it is ages seven to fourteen. No one really cares about that. Uh, number is seven oh nine oh two. Name is Catwoman's Cycle Chase. It has one hundred and thirty uh, one hundred and thirty nine pieces, and retails like I said, it's like about seventeen dollars. I think I spent at Walmart. Um, so, not bad for the price. I wish it could it came with, like, I don't know. The set feels like a little bit more. I think they could have detailed this a little bit more, though. But, uh, let's get into the actual sets. Let's show the minifigures first. And for the first minifigure, we have Catwoman. Or Catwoman, whoops. <laughs> I made a funny joke. Um, focus. There we go. As you can tell, she's got really nice detail. She's got the uh, kind of Batman slash Batgirl like buckles. Really cool. Really detailed on all of these. All have arm printing. Really nice. Here's the back. Take off the mask. Here's the mask. Really cool. Yeah, here's the face. It's just like. It's weird, it, like her with go uh, weird goggles. And that face is like more, they're like angry. That. But. Nice detail on the arms, though. And for some reason, she came uh, in the set, she got like two whips. Um, I'll show you where the other one is. It's on the set, it's on the actual set. But that's Catwoman. Next, we have uh, Batgirl, which is not a. Yeah, of course. Oh. Catwoman is exclusive to the set and the set alone, so you can't get her anywhere else. Uh, here is Batgirl. Really nice detail on her. She has arm printing and side leg printing, which is really, really cool. What's weird is I didn't realize this came off. Her uh, ponytail. You just see that thing right there? Place it on. It's actually really cool. Uh, take off the mask so you can lift up the cape. Sadly, it doesn't have that uh, superhero soft uh, cape. 
which is very weird. Um, again, she's got the belt buckle and back printing. While the uh, mask off, you can see the head. This is the back. Uh, this is the other one. This is like her angry and like her happy or something. And that's Batgirl. Really cool figure. Uh, she is not exclusive to the set. She's in like a few others. Also, what's cool is about this is uh, I did not know this. Each uh, both of them got extra belt buckles. So it's actually really cool because like I can actually use these for a few things. So it's really cool. Um, lastly, we have Robin, my favorite uh, character out of this whole movie. Um, I did like Batman, but whoa, I think Robin's my favorite out of the movie. He's just hilarious. He's just the funniest. He's probably one of the funnier characters in the movie. He's got two. He's got a double-sided face. Just pop off the mask. This is a uh, over-molded. The hair, or the goggles are over molded into the hair, which is really cool. So just place that on the side. That's what he looks like without the mask, <laughs> the uh, goggles. And then here's the other side. He's like worried look, and then the joy look. If you lift off his uh, very sparkly short cape, you got back printing. Is that okay? To those of you, this is actually my. F I, I don't buy many. Lego DC sets in general, and that's pro, which is very weird for me, because uh, I don't buy a lot of them. I uh, mainly buy for my Lego sets. I usually buy Marvel and of course Star Wars sets. I don't rarely ever buy DC. Like this is my second DC set ever, because uh, I had one of the uh, Batman, uh, Batman uh, Lego Batman sets from the. Uh, video game 2 I think came with like him and Two-Face but uh, this is like my actual second um, DC set so it's really cool and uh, this is actually my first Robin which I'm actually happy about it um, so I'm gonna take them off just the camera a little bit there we go a little closer uh, here's the motorcycle Really cool, actually. It's a really cool motorcycle. Uh, especially since the last two DC motorcycles weren't cool. I didn't build them, but they didn't... The reason why I didn't buy it is because the motorcycles looked like weird. Uh, here's the other whip I told you about. Um, there's a spot right here where I guess you could put it. I just put it there just for fun. But yeah, you get two whips for her. Uh, those are printed right there. Those, like, engine things. Both of them. On the side, too. Really cool. And then here's the handlebar. This is also printed. This is not sticker. Overall, it's a really cool motorcycle, actually. Like, it's probably one of the cooler ones I have. Uh, probably the coolest mo uh, coolest motorcycle I have as a Lego set is probably the uh, Ghost Rider one. The Ghost Rider is probably my favorite out of them all. That's the motorcycle. And then here's the actual... Um, Kind of a little house, I guess. A jewelry. A jewelry house or something. It's small, of course, because it's a tiny set, but pretty cool, I guess. And surprisingly, this is actually it's meant it to be curved like that. Uh, since I've been building Legos for a long time, I'm, I've always had that urge not to get stickers like slanted. But in this, it's actually supposed to be slanted. Very weird. Just open another door like that. And he's got two like diamonds in here, a clear one and a red one stand, and that's pretty much it for the inside. It's got this like newspaper flyer right here, green trash can, and then this feature where uh, the telephone pole like gets hit and just like bang, it's like crash. There goes the telephone pole, or not telephone pole, uh, lamp pole. Really cool. This guy, this is a sticker and that's a sticker. This is like one of the only ones in this. Yeah. And then this goes down and this goes up. So. 
really cool set. Uh, I don't regret buying it. That's once uh, that's the thing that uh, with Lego sets for me is uh when I buy it, if I regret buying it, then I like usually take it apart or use it for spare parts. And but if I do really like it, I'd uh, display them like this one. I'll probably display. But other than that, really cool set. I definitely uh ha bleh. Can't speak today. I definitely hope you guys will buy this set. It is really cool. Um, I'm happy with the buy. I bought this for like 17 bucks at Walmart. Not expensive at all. Um, really glad with this. Really, really awesome. Um, but hope you guys did enjoy this video. Um, and if you did, hit that like button down below. That will really let me know. That you guys are liking my videos as well as if you want me to do a certain lego batman movie re uh, review let me know down in the comments and if you guys are at all new to this channel hit that uh, hit that subscribe button you won't regret it there's some fun stuff coming up especially a uh, mock that is coming soon like hopefully er, pretty soon i don't want to mention what it is but i'm working on it as well as a really cool army that i'm working on i bought a few battle packs today as well at walmart and I am excited to make that video. But I hope you guys did enjoy. And hope you guys have a great one for day. Bye-bye.